everyone welcome to my channel my name is Kennedy and I'm going to be doing a chick-fil-a mukbang while talking about wisdom teeth surgery tea because I just had my wisdom teeth taken out a couple weeks ago so yeah <laughs> let me show you guys what I got from chick-fil-a so I got the 12 count grilled nuggets now I know what you're thinking grilled nuggets why not the crispy fried ones well let me tell you the grilled nuggets are actually amazing like i might even say they're better than the fried ones that's just my opinion though don't knock it till you try it and i got oh <laughs> got some french fries they just all like spilled out got some french fries and i have some ketchup down here and i also got a cookies and cream milkshake so I'm really excited about that so let's get in to this mukbang I'm gonna eat my chicken first oh my gosh this chicken is so good like yes okay so let me run you through the day of my wisdom tooth surgery so you're not supposed to eat or drink even water six hours before your wisdom teeth surgery so my was my surgery was at 2 p.m in the afternoon and that basically meant that i couldn't eat all morning from like 8 a.m to 2 that was hard it wasn't as hard as i thought it was going to be but it was definitely difficult so that was the morning and then on our way to my mom picked me up and then we drove to the wisdom teeth surgery place <laughs> and on our way there a bird flew into our car like i'm not even kidding a bird flew into our car it was crazy it was so scary we heard this loud bang and then we were like what happened and my mom pulled over she looked there's feathers on our car feathers on our car I was I was shook I was so freaked out I did not know what to do my mom didn't know what to do we tried to find a car wash but none of them were open and so we just had to go to my surgery and with feathers on our car the people that looked at our car probably thought we were crazy like who has feathers on their car I've never seen it before <laughs> until that day. So then I get there and we sign in and everything. And then I'm waiting and they call me back. And the one of the first things they do when they call me back is they put in my IV. And they always say that like when you get an IV, that's just going to feel like a pinch. And it really did. It really just felt like a pinch. It didn't hurt at all. So that was good. I was kind of worried about that. And then... The next thing they did was they put that, like, nose thing on, on you with the laughing gas. So it kind of made you a little sleepy, but it didn't, like, put you fully to sleep yet. And then the doctor came in, and the nurse put the stuff, <laughs> put the drugs in my IV that make you, like, fully sedated and, like, fully go to sleep so they can do the surgery. And I was asleep for most of the surgery. I think I woke up, like, in the middle of it, but not, like, I didn't feel anything. I just opened my eyes, and I could hear them when I opened my eyes. Just for, like, a couple seconds, it wasn't that bad. And I went back to sleep. And then, um, after the surgery, I don't really remember when I woke up. I just remember me waking up and walking to this recovery room that they put me in. And so while I was in the recovery room, I couldn't feel any pain. My mouth was still numb and I had gauze in my mouth, and I but I didn't really feel any pain. And then my mom came in there and sat with me and I was just like really tired and really out of it. And <laughs> I was just kind of like laying there, like didn't know what to do. And they had me sit there for like 20 minutes and just so they could make sure that I was okay before I left. And then when we left, I got in the car, feathers still on the car, and we went down to the Honda dealership, 
and they like give you free car washes since you like bought your car there so you get free car washes there and we went through the car wash to get the feathers off our car <laughs> and we went through once and they were still on there and so we went through again and some came off but there were still some on there so we still had feathers on our car afterwards and then my mom drove to Kroger to get my prescription filled for my pain medicine if I'm going to be any, in any pain and while we were in the line like the drive through pharmacy line literally like all like all of a sudden the pain was horrible in my mouth like so bad I started like crying <laughs> I started crying and I was like I want to I just want to go home and then we had to get medicine so that my pain wouldn't hurt so my mouth wouldn't hurt and so we got the medicine and then I went home and I went in my room and I was like bawling my eyes out because it hurt so much and I took the medicine and it was a little better um one thing that I didn't think was gonna happen like a side effect wise to me that I didn't know about was that I got super super cold like at night I would get breezing cold like so I had my comforter on my bed and then I had a One Direction blanket and then I had this other blanket that I bought for like Christmas and then I had a heated blanket on top of that and I was still freezing. Like I did not expect that at all. So just know if you get your wisdom teeth taken out you might be freezing cold so stock up on the blankets. <laughs> um... So the next couple of days after my surgery, it was kind of like, I was still in pain, obviously, but it wasn't as bad as that first day. The right side of my mouth was so much more swollen than the left side. Like they must have had to do like extra digging on this side or like pulled it extra hard because it was like huge, like a chipmunk. And this side was like just a little bigger than normal. That was really weird. And then... Maybe, like, the third day after, I think, I got a big bruise right here. I'll insert a picture right there if if I can find one. I know I took some. If I can find one, it'll be right there. But it was huge, and it was yellow, and it looks, it looks so bad. With my cheek being swollen, and then I got a, developed a bruise. It was bad, so that sucked. Um... I basically ate, like, the couple of days that I came out of it, I ate a lot of mashed potatoes, which I love mashed potatoes, so it was fine with me. And I ate a lot of mashed potatoes. I ate some mac and cheese, um, some jello, ice cream, and pudding. I had pudding, too. That was pretty good. Um... Let's see, what else is there? <laughs> um, so, a side effect that I have still right now, which really sucks, is called TMJ. I'm not sure what that stands for, but it's when you like can't open your mouth as big as normal. Most people are supposed to be able to fit three fingers in their mouth up and down. I can only fit two. Like, my mouth just does not open bigger than that. Like, it's not that it hurts or anything. It just physically cannot open bigger. And so that's supposed to last about 3 to 12 le weeks after your surgery, which I'm on, like, the third week right now. <sighs> so hopefully it gets better. But it just really sucks because, like, I can't eat sandwiches or anything because you have to open your mouth really big to eat sandwiches and, like, burgers and stuff like that. So I have to, like, cut up all my food and eat it. It just takes me longer time to eat, which sucks. So, yeah. Thankfully, I can still eat chicken nuggets. <laughs> um, let's see. What else was there? These fries are really good. That is so good. If, if you've never had Chick-fil-A breakfast, you're really missing out. I've only had it once. <laughs> But it is so good. I got the little like mini biscuits with the glaze on the top of the biscuits. And then as chicken in the middle. And then you get these little um, like circular hash browns. 
so good literally amazing so yeah i'm gonna dig into this milkshake we'll see how this tastes i don't like cherries so i took the cherry off of it sorry about it all right let's get into the milkshake i'm using a spoon because after your wisdom teeth surgery you can't use a straw because you can get dry socket and i don't know when that stops so i've just been using a spoon <laughs> i just don't use straws anymore apparently save the environment you know <laughs> All right, let's try this milkshake. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. That is so good. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yum. Love that. Yeah, let me think if there's anything else. Also, actually, when I filmed that Bob Ross painting video... That was like, I'm looking at my calendar. That was a week after my surgery. After I filmed that video, I had to go to my follow-up appointment for my wisdom teeth, obviously. So they could like look at it and take out stitches if they needed to. But my stitches are dissolving stitches, so it was fine. They didn't have to take anything out. But yeah, so that Bob Ross video was filmed a week after my wisdom teeth surgery. So if you notice any um swelling on this side, that's why. I don't think, I don't think it was really that noticeable. Then, um, yeah. So, if you guys have any questions about wisdom teeth surgery, um, you can leave them in the comments down below, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. I'm no means an expert on this. I'm just telling you guys my personal experience. So, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below and like this video if you thought it was helpful. And, yeah, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And if you guys have any um, video ideas for me, you can also leave those in the comments. I'm always open to new ideas. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye!